Sometimes you may want to add in backgrounds so that you can add in elements like text and stickers on top of it. Or you may just want a solid background uh, with one single color. In that case, you can go around over here onto the graphics section and over here you can see background is an option. Simply click and drag around the background that you have right here and the background is loaded up and added in as you can see right here. And this is a moving background. So it's basically a video clip that you can go around and crop it and add in effects to uh, just like with a video. So you can go around and add in stickers on top of it as well and start editing your content. But if I were to go around over here, I can access more background by clicking on like see more. And here you can see that there's more different uh, backgrounds that you can choose from or you can bring in a gradient background over here as well. And this is what you have. You can go around onto adjust colors and change around the temperature, change around the saturation as you can see just like this and adjust it according to how you want right here just like with a video. So what you can also do is you can bring in frames as you can see right here and that is another type of a background right here as you can see just like this and this is what you have and for the frame you can see that this is actually a see-through so if i were to go around and delete it you can go around back right here so uh, i'm just going to go around on to your media section right here and I'm going to go around and bring in let's say for example this clip right here so if I were to go around onto the graphics and then you go around over here you can bring in some frames right here just like this and then it's added in right here just like this and there uh, it seems like an old footage so what you can also do is you can go around and bring in let's say black background right here so this is completely black but you can go around onto the color setting and choose around a different color by choosing one of the colors right here or by going around and entering the hex value as well if you know the hex value or you can make it transparent right here as well you can also go around and utilize the uh, color picker right here to choose the color that you want right here just like this as well so this is the background as you can see right here and I'm going to go around over here and bring in let's say a footage, bring it on to the bottom right here and with the background color what you can also do is you can go around make it transparent and make it let's say for example 50% transparent as well so that uh, it becomes a see-through and that is how you can go around and utilize out backgrounds as you can see right here. And you can go around onto graphics, onto the more section, and you can see that solid color, white and black, they are just uh, uh, they, they are just the same thing. With the solid color, you get the color directly right here. But you can go around and select white or black and select out the color from there as well. It does the same thing. With the backgrounds, you can also go around right here just like this. You can see that that is what you have. You can go around over here. This is the background and then you can go around add in background on top of backgrounds over here as well and then just go around and work around with it just like this as well so i hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe